popular bowling alley and Austin Staple is closing on Friday. Dart Bowl has been open for 62 years. Now it's the latest victim of the coronavirus economy. KXAN investigator Kevin Clark explains that many other local businesses do not like their chances of survival. First opened in 1958, Dart Bowl built a reputation on its enchiladas and comfortable atmosphere. I remember when I was a kid growing up, all the old men coming in to drink coffee and talk about old war stories. By this time, John Donovan will have told his employees that Dart Bowl's days are numbered and that they'll lose their jobs. He fought the decision for weeks as customers dwindled due to stay-at-home orders and fear of the coronavirus. I feel sad. I feel heartbroken. Um, there's a certain amount of guilt wishing I'd been able to find a way to keep it together. It's yet another example of the excruciating decisions local businesses have to make as the economy struggles, with many others prepared to follow. Through a survey, the Austin Chamber asked businesses about their financial outlook three or four months down the road, and the answers from live music venues, restaurants, and bars weren't encouraging. Over half of them have indicated to us that if something doesn't give economically, it's quite possible that they'll close their doors by Halloween. Chamber President Laura Huffman says reopenings have been helpful, but only to a point. Donovan tells me people should support their small local businesses and hopes people will make one last visit to his. What will you miss the most? People. It's a people business. It's all about the, the, you know, the environment you create, the friendships you make. Kevin Clark, KXAN News. And despite the dark poles closure, the company's Highland Lanes and Westgate Lanes will remain open.